Hello, welcome to another episode of Camp Fashion Journey. Today is the time of the year whereby it is year end and New Year's Eve is just around the corner. So this is what I will be wearing for New Year's Eve and I'm just sharing with you today some of my staple items for New Year's Eve. Check it out. I will always love to wear my patent pumps by Pew and Company from Brooks Brother, and then to wear it with a pair of Dockers K1 pants with a side band. Normally, when you talk about tuxedos, it comes with the grow grain band, but this one it comes with a very thick cotton band to give it that very relaxed but very ceremonial look. And I would really take the effort to put on my beautiful wool flannel red vest from the Anover shop. Last but not least, I will also be having the choice of my polo teddy bear ties whereby it's drinking a champagne and in a tux. And then I will share with you further how it looks once I put it up. As I was saying just now, this will be a very simple outfit for me for this coming New Year's Eve. I just like to keep it plain and simple because the star of this outfit is none other than my favorite red flannel waistcoat, which is from the Anover shop. And this is my most prized possession in my entire wardrobe because this particular red wool flannel waistcoat has been sold to me by the legendary Mr. Charlie Davidson of the Andover shop. And his credential, I don't need to talk much about him, about this great gentleman because the late Mr. Charlie Davidson, it's an awesome gentleman and I got it from him back in 2014. It is a really lovely piece and my prized possession. Fantastic and lovely brass button, which is from made in Brooklyn, New York. And then also this waistcoat also is made in the tailor shops in New York, which is a uh, as commissioned by Mr. Charlie Davidson. And I like to a uh, match it up with a very simple pair of a uh, Dockers K1 with a, uh, a cotton band on the side to give it that formal touch and to top it up to give a touch of formality I would like to wear it with my Brooks Brother Grow Grain Patent Pump from Pew and Company with a pair of red socks to match back up the red flannel vest and to look into it a bit further the shirt will be a very nice Egyptian spun cotton from Ralph Lauren, which is the uh, ceremonial teddy bear embroidered on the breast pocket. And to top it up with the braces also from Ralph Lauren with the motif of the ceremonial teddy bear in the evening tux. This is a very simple outfit because I just want the accessories and also especially the waistcoat from the Anover shop which will take the center stage and the center piece. It is really lovely because I will never fail to get any compliment. I will always be complimented no matter which time I put it on, especially on New Year's Eve. This is really a fantastic piece. Until the next episode of Cam Fashion Journey, please press the subscribe button and I look forward to see you in the new year. Bye. Hello. Now this is what I wear for the evening for this New Year's Eve. Should I want to have an alternative of not wearing this lovely red wool flannel waistcoat from the annual shop. So what I wear is that I will just wear a nice shirt which is a bit more on the sporty side with a French cuff like what I'm wearing right now and then with a more opulent cuffling on it and of course I will spot the, the uh, ceremonial teddy bear tie 
from Ralph Lauren together to make it even a more touch of a uh, evening. I'm wearing a silk belt which is purple in color and then I match it back up with the purple socks and a pair of a uh, tassel loafer. And I like to wear a pair of really recrafted pair of uh, 501 from Levi's just to give it the balance of a touch of very casual, relaxed and also with a touch of ceremonial based on the silk tie and the silk belt which is very like a into the next episode of the Tech Journey to give see you next year, to bye! So fracking and crude and maybe old Bing will give it a flame and that's fine